Hey guys, this is Matt with Comics Gaming, and today I'm gonna cover errors, errors um, that you get in your compiler. I'm gonna cover that and teach you how to fix them, most of them at least. So, um, first thing are capital letters. Now they are very important, um, because if you don't use them, you're gonna get errors. There is an exception. Well, not only one, but there are some exceptions like on plug and start. You cannot like you can avoid using capital letters or maybe you can use them. Whoops. Um it doesn't make any difference at all. Only here. But for example, if we had on client put in server, I believe this one will not give any er errors at all. Um I'm forgetting the put. Let's check it out and see. Yeah, we don't get any errors because it's a like it's a function that you are extending. Um, it's created, but you're you're extending it. Source mod only calls the function when you join, and then you tell it what to do. And of course, I'm forgetting the client here. Um, I still like to put to use the um, where is it? On client. Ah, uh, goddammit. This is something I don't like about the thing. Yeah. But what if we were to type here print to chat? Just like that. I want to print to the client. And then we want to print hey. Now if I compile this, I get an error. It says undefined symbol. Maybe you're saying, okay, what, wait, what? This does exist. It's in the API and everything. Well, technically yes, because it's print to chat. But you're not you're not using capital letters in front of for every word, so source mode does not detect it. Source mode does not know that this is what you want to use. So if you wanted this to work, you have to type print to chat. That's why I use the autocomplete the autocomplete um, function, since it's like very easy to type. You just type the first three four letters of the word and then you just press tab and you get it um you can google that um it's in the sort in the Elliot Motors website the creators are of source on the creators so yeah um that's one of the first things uh, also if you t if you create a variable like new name and then you, you like get client name of course you would have to use a string uh wait a minute also, string has to have the capital letter over there, the client name. And here you type name, uh, oops, client name, and then 32. We're gonna get an error. Um, let me compile this, and it's gonna say I define symbol name because it's the the line 14 here you can see it and then it says that the symbol is assigned a value the symbol is assigned a value that is never used name so it's saying that we created this array I mean this variable but we never used it and yeah we never did it because it's different to have a capital letter and a non capital letter um, <laughs> yeah as you can see now I have no errors Another thing is tag mismatch. What a tag mismatch is is basically when the function requires a sort of um, a data type, and you give it another one that it's not requiring or not the one that it needs. For example, if I were to create a, a function here, public um, func hi, hey, no hi. And I'm gonna require a static string. I'm gonna require a name, anything. And then I'm gonna do new. No, oops, I don't need new. And then I'm gonna do um client. Um. So yeah. If I were to call this function, um, I'm gonna do func high and then it's gonna require the first string and it's gonna be yeah, yeah yeah I don't know 
and then it requires an integer right but what if I wanted to pass a float and I'm like oh yeah it's the same it doesn't matter so I'm gonna do 1.0 like that if I were to compile this I get three errors nice probably this is wrong <laughs> the static string let me see it says 15 number of arguments does not match the definition and it says um, 18 invalid function or declaration because of this yeah yeah um wait a minute let me let me see if this will fix it no if we remove the static Um, let's see. Yeah. There we go. Um, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't work. I don't know why. It's weird. So, yeah, we get a tag mismatch now. Thankfully. It says, 15, we have a warning that it's a tag mismatch. No, this is not an error. This is going to compile and this is not going to work in game. When you're going to get the error is when the client actually types or tries to use this function you're gonna get a an error track on your console so yeah but if I were to remove the floating point and make it an integer it's gonna compile so yeah um... this also goes for I don't know any type of for, for example print center text to client and here instead of typing this you type hi and then you type the client here client this is gonna throw the same error right if we compile this it's gonna get one error it says tag mismatch now this is different than the other one because the other one is a creative function that we that I did it's not something that's built in the sourceman API so it's saying okay maybe he he intended to do that maybe he didn't but for these type of functions that they're defined in source mod you get an error and as you can see it says one error right here and yeah it says argument one I'm um, matching the, er the argument one so yeah if you switch that it's gonna work and the other warning is um, loose initiation um, so yeah I'm um, home I, I don't know for example for new i equals zero i until get max uh, actually until five i plus plus and here I want to print to chat i and I forget to type the tab right here let me see if thankfully it will work mm. crap it didn't mm. okay wait a minute maybe there no Ugh. Nope. It's not happening, I don't know why. Well maybe if I I don't know, call it function here, print to center print to chat all string. Hmm. Yay. Okay, as you can see it says loose annotation. In in detection. I don't know how to say this. But you you get the point. <laughs> It says like it's on line 15. This happens because you're not using the right, like you're not formatting the text right. Because you come here, you open a bracket, and then you type before you open another bracket, and then you type tab here, and then you don't tap or press tab here, and then you close the the curly braces. That's an error. That's a warning, pretty much. It doesn't matter. Your code will execute and work in the game, even though that it has this warning. It's gonna work either way. To fix this, simply format your code properly, and when you recompile, you get no errors, as you can see. Um, this is basically because you're not formatting it properly. I don't know how you say this. Um, something else I forgot is actually um the it's a, it's called like sh um what's it called shadow a variable 
um, like in the predecessor level. For example, if I create a global variable called player, or maybe yeah, player. No, actually max client. Mm. And then here I type new max client equals get max client. And then you know you know you do the for loop and all that crap. You know the for blah blah blah. Yeah, I'm gonna go do it. I'm gonna compile. Actually, let me close. I'm gonna compile. And here I get three warnings. Um, if you actually use that, it's you're gonna get like two maybe. I don't know. It says local variable max clients here at line 14. Local variable max client shadows a variable at the predecessor predecessor level. Why? Because we have a, a level here, right? And before, we have another level. We have others, and here we have we have created a variable that has the same name as this one. And we we are actually initializing this variable right here, not this one, this one, with this, but they have the same name so it says well, how wh where am I gonna use this one which one do I have to use so it says uh, here it says that the symbol is the same but never used and it says that it's uh, ne never used so yeah same kind of warning so yeah um, to fix this just delete the new right here and I'm gonna compile and show you have no w w yeah never used don't worry about that or maybe call it a different way. Call it I don't know. This one call it new G for global or type mobile if you want to. Max clients. And then type and then you just compile it and yeah. It says that I never used this one, like the global one, and I never used the other one. So yeah, it's normal. Um I wanted to point that out because maybe one of you were having an issue with that one. So yeah, those are the errors that are most common in source mode, and most of the people commit or happen to um, go through them. So yeah, I hope this helped you out some sort of way. Of course, I'm not going to upload the source code for this tutorial on the forums because it's actually worthless. It's just for a tip, sort of. I didn't have much time today, that's why I did this, but yeah. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, as always, this was Matt with Comex Gaming. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, like rate it up, favorite it, share it, everything you can helps. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next one.